Hi everyone. Today I want to do a little review of these little game cases for the Switch OLEDs. So recently I bought a Mario one and I bought two of them. Um, I'm also going to upgrade one of my other ones since I don't like the case what it came with. I had it for a year. Um, so I'll show you. Um, give me a sec. So when I first bought my first OLED, I bought two of them at the same time. They were a couple weeks separate since I bought this one, which is the white one. But I got some little custom Joy-Cons on it. And this is my first case I bought, and I did not like it because it did not protect the stand. I don't like that. So, I bought my second pair. The second pair is a little better, but it's kind of a little cheaply made. But it keeps the design and everything of, like, say, this Pokemon Edition really well protected and everything. And it comes, you know, it came with these little grips, which is pretty nice. You just don't get to see the design, which is a little shame, but, I mean, it's there. And um, I'm pretty sure this one came with its own little controller cases as well. But um, I didn't got that. And besides, this is the one, this is, is the same one as these, but this is like the older model. This this one right here is the new and improved, they said. Um, the red one is going for like seven eighteen dollars And the white, the clear one, I mean, it's going for six seventeen. Sorry about that. This is seventeen, this is eighteen. They're a dollar apart. They also sell more colors in these. They sell them in like blue, black, glitter. And that's the ones I've seen. I haven't seen any other colors. Unless I'm wrong, there could be another one. But I bought one, this red one for the Mario edition, which, you know, it's all red. You know, and I already bought, I have a case protector in it. And I already have storage in it. So, yeah, I see a memory card, a Mario edition memory card. I don't want to pull it because it's still on. But uh, yeah, overall, I just want to give keep this console protected this one i'm not gonna upgrade his case this one's gonna still have his original and um since here's the old one we'll, we'll compare here in a minute the old one versus the new one and so here since we're gonna do the red switch we'll we'll unbox it right now and see how it looks and then we'll unbox the clear one so let's see. here's the red one so right off the bat it looks like nothing has changed the only thing they added was the little top part this here to keep protected which we'll see if uh, i think it clicks on here which the last one it just came with a back protection Ooh, it looks like it protects better we'll see here in a minute let's see here we go and it's clear so i might actually if this one works out well on this one i might um switch that one and give it to the other oled and give this clear one if it's the same to that one since it's a pokemon edition but yeah here we got a red one and if we got some stickers that comes with this so you know if you got a little kid or something or actually if you give this to a kid it'd be perfect for them they can have they can put stickers on their case it, and also also they give you like step by step of how to insert and stuff see that's pretty nice honestly gives you instructions which this is pretty nice. What if somebody doesn't know? Okay, so here we got the console. And we're going to start peeling this guy off. And the reason I would buy a case is like, a, since this was like an edition Mario, you want to keep it, you know, from getting scratched up. You want to keep it electronic. Basically, if you buy electronic, you want to keep it protected. You know, since you waste a lot of money on it, in my opinion. Some people, you know, they buy it for kids. But if you have a kid, you bought a console for a kid. So like, since I know Christmas is coming up soon, buy him a console and buy him a protection like a, a screen protector and a case for it and at the long run you'll you'll be kind of because i know a screen protector will protect it from like scratches and stuff and at the end it won't be too beat up and like this one you know it'll protect the shell and everything so yeah overall like protects it pretty well yeah this guy doesn't want to peel off easily i might have to get a pair of scissors or something to cut it off let's see or maybe there's something here that I need to peel. Oh, yeah. So you do have to peel this. I kind of did it wrong. And the white one will do that. There we go. I did it wrong. So there we go. We got the red one right here. So I got a red because, you know, since it's the Mario edition, it's going to be red. And these are for the OLED. I haven't seen any for the original. I never bought one for my original. But I usually don't play on it. Handheld, I usually play it and docked mostly. These guys are the ones I usually play. Oh handheld because they're old lead which is pretty awesome 
Okay, so here goes the first one. Here's the first. I'm gonna line them up. They really are kind of feel cheaply made. I think I've done it wrong. I think it's the first at the head. And then it's this. There we go. And yeah, it's a bit off. So let me give me a minute. I mean, it doesn't look, it looks like kind of weird now with this case on. But there we go. It's all aligned. Make sure if you did, you know, install it properly. There we go. We can open the game case. You can insert your headphones. I usually don't play with wired headphones or play wireless. And there we go. It should keep the console protected. And they should be dockable. And uh, here we go. We're going to do the the controllers. I think this console's dead. I'm, I haven't touched it since I've been waiting for the protection. No, it's... It's still alive, but it is dying, so we are going to let it charge and everything. Okay, so this is the left, one, right one. So this guy should slide in. Okay, then we're going to have a little fight here with this little guy. There we go. He slid in, and we got this guy. I'm wondering if it's... I don't know if it clips on or something. I mean, there is signs of it. Yes, so I think it does clip on. There we go. And man, look at that. It just clips on there and it protects it from the design. It's all clear still. You can still see the symbols. And here's like the old one, you, the original one before they swapped it out. I mean, the original one is pretty cool. I like how it's all silicone. Not bad. Just the problem is it'll, it will yellow over time. But the problem is like, see how you can't see the design on this one. It's a shame. And see how this one. They're both like that, by the way. Not just one. See. So that's good. That's kind of better. Honestly, clear. It has little bumps instead. So that's actually pretty nice. It protects the console. So yeah. And you can slide it. See that one slide in. Nice. So we just got to install this guy over here. So they have made a bunch of changes on these, which is pretty good. Okay, so we just got to insert this guy in a minute and throw this away. Okay, so we got this guy in. I'm going to... There we go. First, you have to insert the little the trigger buttons over here first. And then, like, push it here. There we go. And I like that, but it did not leave a scratch to me, it looks like. But there we go. You can do, you do get access to the buttons, which is pretty nice. And you can lay it there and it won't scratch up the controller. It's just pretty nice as well. All right, so all we got to do is add the protective sleeve on it, the little case on it. Let it click in. There we go. And we'll see. Oh, it, it clicked out again. Hold on. There we go. So the guy's clicked in. Unless I did it wrong. There we go. So yeah, I was about to say it should be flushed like this one. And this one is all flushed. There we go. So that console is not going to get scratched up anytime. There's only a disappointment. So I'm noticing it's a little floppy right down here. Yeah. I mean, this case will be worth it. If you're just going to use it as handheld and never... Never going to let it sit on the dock. And ooh, there's, there's something disappointing here. The buns look like they're a little more difficult to untouch. Let's see. Yeah, you do. You have to put like your finger up here in order to press it. So they're not that easy to see. There we go. You can't like say right here. It's kind of more difficult for your finger to see. See. And if you have to go up here with the nail. So yeah, these cases are good. But if you're like going to play them like this, you're not going to use it as like or docked, you know. But um, if you're going to play it like, see like this, it's kind of later over time, this will break off. So yeah, I'm just giving a heads up. I don't play, when I buy these cases, usually I don't play like that. Since they're all lead, I don't like playing. Well, people do do it. I've seen them do it. But I don't like doing it like that. I prefer to have a little stand for it where you could just stand like that and have a separate controller. Or you could play like this. It's pretty nice. 
the controller is overall pretty good. I like it just for what I wanted it just to play like this. And I mean, it looks really nice with red and a, on a Mario Mario console with red. It doesn't even look like hardly anything different. It makes it more like darker red, which is pretty nice. It ain't red. It ain't like kind of that other red. It's just like more like red and red. They both combine. They make like a weird color, red colorish, like a ruby kind of wayish. Pretty nice, honestly. Uh, looks like I'm finding a little issue over here. There's a vent that looks like it's kind of covered up for some reason. And I know in the original, as here we got the old one. This one doesn't cover it that much. So there is a little design flaw. I mean, let's see. They're both protected, so give me a minute. I'll put them face to face. So yeah, that stinks about the controllers. I mean, I do like how they have it protecting the front. I like the original. The original is better. You slip them in. But here we got this. Yeah, but see, let's put them one, one under the other. Let's see. This one kind of let the vents a little more open. This one kind of covers the end of the vents. But they have everything almost the same. Just that is the difference. The bottom looks like the same, and they are dockable, by the way, so you don't have to worry about that. And, um, looks like everything's the same. I don't see anything different between them. Nothing has changed the back. It's all the same, so yeah, overall, it's pretty good. I mean, they did improve some things, but some things didn't, looks like they're not that too well. See, like, here. Oh, and I think, no, I thought it was, but it doesn't look like it is. So yeah, there is something different here. Like this one did like a little, this one has like a little, let me show you. So see here, see here, it comes up, goes up, goes down, makes a curve upwards and it kind of, it kind of wraps around almost to like the bottom of the screen. This one doesn't do that anymore. This one just goes straight mostly. It just does like a little bump up and that's it. So this one is better gripped, you know. That's pretty much it. Nothing else has changed. Uh, the only thing I might do is just maybe swap the controller cases, honestly. And keep this one for this one. But this one is a little shameful. Because it didn't keep keeping that up wrap thingy. So that's a little shame. But yeah, overall. Looks like it'll do fine. I mean, I'm liking this red, honestly, on red. It's pretty nice. Just a little disappointed that you can't pull the controllers off. But out of everything else is pretty good. And now I can play on it for, you know, do stuff with it. And I'll bring a dock here so, you know, you can see it's dockable. Which these are dockable. You do struggle a little, but, you know, it's just... I thought it was a little floppy. It is a little. Yeah, but, you know, I think the only thing I'm going to do is... I'm just going to keep the the case on this one. The only thing I'm going to do is just swap the these guys. We'll see. I mean, these guys aren't hard to come off in case, like, you don't like it or something. There you go. See, they just came out like that. I don't like doing that, but, you know. I might actually just give it. What the heck? We'll give it a try. I mean, they are plastic, so they could break over time. So, you got to be kind of careful sometimes when you use the little stand. So, I'm just giving a heads up. But, yeah, overall, I'm going to switch over here. So, there is a huge difference. Just so people are aware, there is a huge difference. There is an improvement a bit. I just wish it didn't change this part where, you know, it over hump, goes over here and grabs more into the screen. This one hardly grabs into the screen anymore. So, yeah, it's a little disappointing there. But I like the cases, honestly, a little more better because they're clear and they cover, you know. So, there's no way, you know, it shouldn't give you any issues. So yeah, overall, and it's way better because see these, let me pull Joy-Con here, which one is this one, the, yeah. There is some improvements, I forgot to tell y'all, the button, I think I already told y'all, but the button is only disappointing there. But, I do like this one better, it's clear, you can see the design, I mean this one doesn't have a design, but I imagine it did. And it has like this little bump here, but it covers this little bottom part here, and this one doesn't. It's a shame. And over time, you know how people always set their consoles on a table or something. Over time, this thing will wear down and it'll start getting damaged. So, yeah, that's a little disappointing. 
But yeah, we're gonna, I might give this one a, a new case instead. But if I don't like, I'll just swap it back. So here's the clear one. And it's the same thing, you get the same stickers. Everything's the same almost. So yeah, everything is the same. You get the same casing and everything. Yeah, see, it's the same everything. And so to peel this, because I didn't show on the first one, so you look for the corner, you lift this up. You know, don't do it like I did on the first one. And just follow it around. There we go. See, there's the new one. Okay, so here's the Pokemon Edition. I haven't played much on it. So I like collecting the consoles. Always do it from the top first. There you go. And then the bottom. And it should wrap around it. Oh, wait, hold on a second. A couple of inches off. Centimeters. There we go. And yeah, that thing ain't wrapping well. Unless it ain't docked or anything there might be an issue with there we go might be an issue with the little dock stand here on um, yeah let me flip it over back because those little teeth are really cheaply made okay so there we go and open the little dock the little stand yeah it's a little more flimsy than the red one so they are a little iffy, uh, but maybe over time, if it's sitting on the table, yeah, that ain't, that ain't looking good too well. I mean, the red one looked like it did a better job, but not much on the, the Pokemon one. I'll just give it to the yellow one. I'll just go back to the original on it. Or maybe, maybe the stain was doing something. There we go. Let's see this. Try it one more time. There we go. No, I didn't. Did I do a good job? So I'm giving that the other one. And I'm going back to the original. I mean, that's the only difference. Or maybe it just needs to be used a bit more. Maybe sit on a dock and maybe it'll form back or something. But I'll just keep the original on this guy. I'm not changing it. There we go. And so I'll just give it to the other OLED. So we will be swapping out the cases here. All right, let's see. So get, I'll be back in a minute. Let me just, you know, get these guys out. So I just got the cases off. And you kind of see they're kind of turning yellowish, honestly. From my point of view, they're turning yellow. These are kind of, it's going to be a little difficult for them to turn yellow since they're plastic. But yeah, we got them off. They still look brand new. So I have not been, I played it, but not much. But there we go. We're going to put the first one on here. And they are tough to get in, but. And then here's one of them. Yeah, this is a, a minus button. Okie dokie. They haven't really wrapped, so they don't want, so they won't get scratched easily. Pretty good. Yeah, this guy's a little, a little stubborn. Let's see. All right, there we go. I got it out. Little, they're a little stubborn, but. There they go. Luckily, you don't pull these guys out of their case once you install them. But there we go. We got the first one in there. And yeah, you can still use the old ones in case, you know, you have an old one, you know. See how that, it does way better wrapping on this one. So yeah, this guy is really sticky. Alright, so we'll get the purple one in. Let's get this guy peeled first because they're a little stubborn. There we go. Let's get the purple one in. There we go.
There we go, it's all flat. There we go. It just it is a shame that when you want to swap over the controller, you know. Okay, we got an issue here with the there we are. It looks like the old case is starting to give issues. There we go. So There we go. So there we go. It's protected and everything, you know. So. And it's much better than what it used to be. I mean, this one, you can now see the design and everything. Not like the other one. You can hardly see what's going on here. But now you can see the design, which is pretty nice. You know, this one doesn't have much of a design. But, I mean, you, it looks much better. Red with red looks a bit different with red. But, you know, there could be somebody who wants... Or maybe if you got, like, a a black OLED, except for the controllers, you know, since so they don't have black controllers. It would be nice if they did, though. It'll probably be... It'll look much better, honestly. And so, overall, this guy's getting an upgrade from, you know, from this one. This one was pretty good and all. I liked it. This is, it grabs into the... Grabs into the speakers a bit, just to hook on. But, like, the part I don't like is because it doesn't protect the the stand and on the stand it has the logo and i kind of want to protect that so here we go there we go and we'll give these to to the white joy cons these right here but yeah it's it looks overall kind of good they are cheaply made. Keep aware of that. But if you're not reckless. And you just want to protect them. Like I'm not reckless. I usually have them protected at all times. Yeah this guy might need to sit on the dock. For like a couple days or something. So the plastic will form. That's probably what I'm going to do. Put on the dock. See if it will form. But it's much better. It protects it now. Yeah this one looks a bit weird looking. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it clicks. Let's look at this one real quick. I don't remember this one looking like that. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Okay. I don't know if there's like a little problem with the stand that has to raise up in order to activate it. Man, it doesn't want to budge. Man, it doesn't want to open. There we go. So that's probably what the issue was. There we go. So now it's sitting on better. That's what was causing not to function right the stand was way too shut for it to properly sit on there and now it's wrapping pretty well okay so yeah now there we go i, I don't remember if the original one has something like that on this yes they do they do have something like that so they do clip around around the speaker i don't know if i can show y'all but see the little nubs right here they go into the to these air vents back here to get you know to grab onto the console but now all the consoles are protected very nice i am special like in the red with the uh, mario so yeah this is looking pretty nice honestly so yeah overall just you know they are cheaply made they're not too well you know um they don't sell usually any silicone ones like you know these are silicones i wish they did but they don't. It's kind of rare to see a silicone. The only thing you can buy, maybe, is just the Joy-Con grips. That's all. But, like, shell is the only way you can protect it. It's like having a uh, plastic, which is a shame. That's the only way you can keep it protected. And this guy probably got disassembled badly. I might have to let it sit in the dock for a couple days and see if I'll help out or anything. There we go. And maybe raise up the foot. There we go. So... There we go, and shut it. Usually I don't play with these much. I play with them every once in a while, just so they won't, you know, sit there and just be like a break. They'll be useful still. I mean, I do play some Pokemon on it. This, that one's getting you charged. Just when I play with it every once in a while. But yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. Yep. All right, thanks. Hi, everyone. Today I want to show you, you know, since it's the next day, but I want to show you if this case is really dockable. I have noticed that you do struggle with it a little bit when you're trying to dock. So we're going to try here dock 
and see how it works out. So let's see, we're talking right now. And you do struggle a bit. There we go. So it fits perfectly in here. Right now I don't have connected, but see how it's perfectly sitting. And they made these cases, especially for the dachshunds. Here are some plastics right here. And here on the switch, it has these little rails here. You know, so it could glide, guide your switch into where it belongs. So yeah, I just want to give y'all a heads up. You know, you could glide that. And there you go. See, it's easily dockable and you can play on TV. So I just want to show you that. Right, there you go, guys. So in my opinion, the cases are worth it. Um, just don't like how plastic it is. But if you're just going to play it mostly docked and just have it a couple times handheld, um, in my opinion, it's kind of good. If you're one of those who likes limited editions and wants to keep it in mint condition, you know, or you want to play with it, but you don't want to damage it too much, these guys will do it. And I am planning to buy another one for another Switch. I got another Switch that I recently bought, which obviously is dock. But um, I am buying another one. And so I just want to give you all a heads up that, um, in my opinion, I'll give it a, just one thumbs up. Uh, just because sometimes, some docks do it, not all. Some dogs who do struggle with this, this one's really good, but there's other ones like the clear one. That one kind of keeps popping off of this area, so I don't know what's going on there. So yeah, overall, it's pretty good, in my opinion. If it, if the other one didn't give me issues, I would have given it two thumbs up. But, you know, since this, just, this one's working really well and the other one's kind of not well, well, you know, so just want to give you a heads up. It's worth it, in my opinion, if you got like a limited edition, like here this one's a limited edition Mario, and you want to keep it protected. You know, this will do it. It protects the Joy-Cons and everything, you know. See, everything is protected. And it's the red. You know, I just don't, you know, want to take it out of the shell because I wanted to keep it protected. You know, I could play with it a little bit, you know. It's not going to play Mario games on this guy. So, yeah, overall, uh, thanks for watching. And, yeah, I'll recommend this. I will leave the, you know, on Amazon, the approval and stuff. You know, not the approval, the, how do you say it, the... You know, I'll leave the Amazon thing in the jig, the, so you could go there and buy it. But it's worth it, in my opinion. It ain't bad. And, yeah, overall, I mean, over time, you could probably crack it. If I wouldn't recommend one, probably one of these for the kids. But it, it will protect it. It's just, you know, if you got a kid that likes slinging this thing around, it, over time, it probably could crack up the plastic. If you have a kid that's a little, not like that wreckish, you know, doesn't throw them across the floor and throws them at walls and stuff. Then this one will do it. I mean, it'll protect it, you know, the, the console and everything for scratches and all that. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. You know, but if you got a kid, I recommend looking for like a silicone. I, I'm pretty sure they do sell some. A silicone one. And it wraps all over the console. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm wrong. But back then, I do remember they used to sell things like that. But um, yeah, if you got a kid that's reckless, maybe go with the silicone one. It won't break that easily since, you know, this is plastic. Over time, it'll start cracking and breaking. Silicone's a little tough. You know, the only way is, like, if you cut it with a pair of scissors or you burn it up or something. That's, like, way too extreme. So, yeah, here, I would recommend this, honestly, since this is a... I want to keep the Switch, you know. And they do have it in other colors, if I haven't mentioned. They do have it in blue and green. I uh, will show you here, so give me a minute. There go. So, here, we also got it in black. Since here's the red one. So here's black. They also got it in blue and clear. Glitter and red. And so I basically just bought the clear and the red. I'm going to buy another clear one. But yeah, look. Here we got it. I'm oh, sorry. Kind of my internet's a bit slow here. But yeah, here here we got all those colors. And yeah, they're different prices. So if you get like the clear one, 16. If you get the red one, it's like 18. So it depends on the price, you know. So the colorful ones you could say are like 18 and just like a regular clear or with glitter, just with glitter. It's 17, so it's like a couple dollars difference. So yeah, there you go. You know, see, we got the blue one. It looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. It says it resists, strong protection. But over time, the plastic will start cracking, you know, and it's not good. But there we go. And the good thing is it protects the, you know... But there we go. I just wanted just because, you know, these are limited editions. I'm not, some, you know, since Mario doesn't have that much. But I bought a red one since it's Mario and it's red. But yeah, here we go. We also got, well, we've seen the clear.
But here we got glitter. Oh, that's that's so clear. Here's glitter. And it's just glitter. Just imagine the clear with just glitter. So yeah, it's the same thing, you know. But there you go. I got this on Amazon. You know, so. Yeah, just, you know, keep an eye on that. It doesn't have that much good ratings, honestly. 3.8. But just, you know, if you want to have it like a limited edition and you don't want to play too much just once in a while and keep it protected from scratches, it's good. But if you just want to have it to like, you know, use it every day, I mean, it could get you by just for a, couple, a little while. But, you know, like say like you can't find one. Well, this is the perfect one while you look for the perfect switch case, you know. But yeah, there you go. All right. Well, thanks and have a good day.